Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host Laura and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. If you watch my show with any kind of regularity, you know that I really, really want Final Fantasy Versus to not be vaporware. So I get a little bit nervous when I hear that Square Enix has just posted a big loss. According to a recent report, the company lost approximately 60 million dollars, US dollars, during a nine month period that ended last December. So Versus still has no official release date, even though it was first announced way back in 2006, but there are new rumors, of course, that Versus will get a new name and will be developed exclusively for the PlayStation 4. This could be part of the also rumored possible PS4 reveal later this month. Of course, Square Enix declined to comment on rumors and speculation. Their net sales, however, did see year-on-year -year growth of over 7% to just over $1 billion. Square Enix also gained some profit for mobile and social networking games like Final Fantasy Airborne Brigade and Final Fantasy Artnix. Looking ahead, Square Enix forecasts end of fiscal year net profits of around $37 million. That's down year on year over 40%. The company expects content expansion and the launch of, of full-scale commercial services for major MMO titles to drive earnings up. My prediction, we might start to see them pull away from console market in a big way. Marcus Notch Pearson and Tim Schafer shared a dream with the world to make a Psychonauts sequel, but like with most things, money is the issue. Schaefer admitted in a recent interview that he might have given Marcus a heart attack when he told him how much Psychonauts 2 would actually cost. Pearson clarified on Reddit that Double Fine would need $18 million to make Psychonauts 2. Now, that's not exactly chump change, so we can understand why there's issues. You probably know another Mass Effect is happening, but Bioware really doesn't want you calling it Mass Effect 4. Love it or hate it, the Commander Shepard trilogy is over, and the next game really isn't a sequel, or really a prequel either, though its events could occur after Mass Effect 3. The problem with calling it Mass Effect 4 is that the title ties the new game wrongly to the previous trilogy. That doesn't mean that the events of the first three games will not affect the next Mass Effect, but they likely won't be what the new story will actually focus on. When would you like to see the next Mass Effect series take place? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. That is all the news I have for today, so love and peace from my PC to yours.